I was homeless for four years. Addicted to drug and alcohol for 25 years. I slept in the snow and boxes. At night, mosquitoes just completely devour you. This is the only place that I know that I can come and I'll be completely treated with respect, not as a, as a drunk or a drug addict or just a homeless person. They treat you as, as family here. Hi, I'm Joe Birch. On any given night, as many as 2,000 people are living on the streets of Memphis. Fred was one of them, but he found his way to Calvary Rescue Mission. Despite constantly being at near capacity, the mission has never closed its doors, not even for one night. It's been that way since 1967, when Milton Hatcher and his wife Betty answered a call from God. My husband had had a drinking problem, and uh, God gloriously saved him, and we were praying about what God would have us to do. One night, after quite a bit of time praying, Milton felt like that the Lord would have us open up a rescue mission to help men that had the same problem that he had had. Since then, Calvary has offered a home-like atmosphere to those without a home, giving them a safe place to sleep, a warm shower, clean clothes, and serving more than a million home-cooked meals. We're doing these things because the Lord says they need to be done, and he goes on to say that that's really one of the signs of, of being a Christian is that you're going to help other people, and when you help other people, you're helping him. Genesis chapter 22, sometime later, every sometime night, later. the gospel is presented in a chapel service. God is here. There's no doubt in my mind. Spirits are lifted through song. Over the years, some 25,000 men have accepted Jesus Christ as Savior, and the number grows each night. Our primary goal at Calvary is to see men come to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. When a man meets the Lord face to face and has to make a decision about it and commits to some spirituality in his life, he's able to overcome a lot of things that uh, he would, couldn't necessarily overcome any other way. All this is carried out with a loving, caring, Christ-like spirit. The men say, to hear it from them, I've been in a lot of missions but I've never been in one like Calvary Rescue Mission. I mean, that's, you know, that's what's kept me in this. No judgment, just treating homeless men with respect, talking to them, praying with them, serving them. It makes all the difference, and it works. The ministry um, not only provides for the physical needs of the men, but really supplies their spiritual needs, their need to be in relationships, to be loved, to be discipled, to be mentored. So I think that the changed lives of the men demonstrates that the ministry is effective. That, I'm sure, saved my life, you know, because I'd played this game a long time and I knew it was a no win. A crack addiction landed Sammy Armstead on the streets. So here I am underneath this bridge with these guys. And sometime in the middle of the night, I'd wake up thinking, what am I doing? About six months after I was at Calvary, my life started to make sense. I wasn't satisfied with it. It started to make sense as I got to know God. Today, Sammy is very satisfied with his life. He has a job. He married the love of his life, and he owns a home. 13 years ago, I couldn't imagine not even in my wildest imagination, I couldn't imagine buying a house. Are you kidding me? Keeping an apartment, maybe, but buying a house. Wow. Wow. That took God. Only God could have did that. Please help men like Sammy to be whole again, to be husbands, fathers, disciples, 
to be the men they were meant to be. Calvary runs on a lean budget without government funding, and it needs your help to continue its mission. Please support Calvary Rescue Mission with your prayers and your donations. This is not where we want to be, but this is where we have to be right now. And for this to be, for them to help like they do, and make it feel like a home as, as much as possible, it gives us hope.